again it's only Jacob from GSTN videos welcome back to the Autobahn killer and we will come back to the Sunday drive video and today we've got Sunday the 21st of March uh, and as always I'm recapping uh, the outgoing week for my channel and for the world to be fair I'll leave it very very short today as I have uh, not got much to go at and uh, and really it's been a bit quiet week for the channel even though I've managed to post every day um, I've not had a chance uh, to grow a little bit so I've posted a few generic videos the short videos and uh, that was kind of it so we had a um, very very slow growth where uh, we stopped at the moment at 2920 subscribers so uh, we got quite stuck there but uh, I'm keep I'm staying positive because there is a lot of car news coming out next week and and to follow as well so it will be very very interesting very very soon and I've got some big plans which I mentioned be before already I would like just to recap the, the videos please go and watch them i'll put the links below um so starting with monday we've got a living with the autobahn kill series as every monday i've done and this time i've done an update on the fuel economy on tuesday and wednesday i did cars from our pitch uh, from my work so a little walk around videos bit montage is just a bit of a change where i did on tuesday the E220 Mercedes and on Wednesday I did uh, let me have a look on Wednesday I did the Audi A4 S line it was a 2 liter TDI engine uh, and a quattro all wheel drive system the car is absolutely amazing looks amazing drives amazing and for someone who is after a Audi A4 this is the ultimate spec on Thursday, we finally got to some car news where uh, BMW launched the new i4 um, or teased. There will be a lot more information coming uh, about the car, but the important ones are in the video. Again, the link is below. Uh, and that brings us to Friday, where I've uh, shown you a little teaser picture from Twitter of Aston Martin because tomorrow they'll launch a new sharper version of their Aston Martin Vantage so God knows where it's gonna be like an AMR um, harder more hardcore like a GT8 style car or whether maybe we'll see an Aston Martin V12 Vantage again that would be absolutely amazing I mean can you imagine that I can't but if if that happened that would be absolutely great um, which brings us to yesterday where I was looking at the tiny Toyota Igo and its successor for 2022 uh, where we saw the vision of the Igo X uh, which looks like a little crossover and it can uh, actually um, keep this little car going which would be interesting because there is these small cars there is not that many of them around anymore uh, Škoda kind of scrapped their idea of a city go even though there is a small car coming and loads of manufacturers did the same so um, it would be quite interesting for some uh, car keep existing even though in slightly uh, changed form and uh, today today I'll be covering a very very exciting car I, when I saw it being revealed uh, yesterday I was I was very 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 surprised and actually I mean the car is the new Pagani Huayra R so we've got a truck focused no limit supercar or hypercar that doesn't belong to any race group um, basically following a very similar mindset as with the Zonda R and actually it's using very similar engine it's a 6 litre V12 that's naturally aspirated so ditching the twin turbo engine and just absolutely uh, overpower the car I mean can you imagine something better than that and I'll cover more in the video 
So today I would like to thank you for watching. It was really brief. Uh, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. It's not a game, it's a red stick.